Hey everyone, happy Friday. Welcome to another edition of this week's releases. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Neil Griffiths. And to help me go through the week's latest and greatest is Melbourne online editor, Jess Dale. Jess, welcome back to, I think, episode four. It is, Neil, our fourth episode. Yeah, it's a month. What a treat. <laughs> How's things going? It's been a lovely time. <laughs> How are things in your neck of the woods? Um, you know, another another week of Melbourne lockdown, just about over. Um, but yeah, we're, we're allowed to have picnics in the park now, so it's an exciting time for Baby us. Baby steps, Jess. Baby steps. Well, yeah. As we always do, we like to list our top three albums of the week. So let's get started on that list. Blake Scott with Nisitam. So this is actually um, Blake Scott from the Peep Temple, who are a much-loved Melbourne band. This is his debut solo album, so it's a really nice, um, I guess, a nice thing for Melbourne fans to be having at the moment. Um, and and the band are a bit quiet at the moment, so I think it's 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 a really great treat. Yeah, it's great to see Blake back in action. Next on the list, Future Islands with As Long As You Are. Um, so obviously you know them from their, their big breakout hit a couple of years back, um, Seasons. And uh, this is their first one since uh, about three years ago. And I think they've really taken a lot of influence um, when I was listening to it this morning, uh, taken a bit of an influence from David Bowie's kind of China Girl uh, era. And yeah, I think if, you, if you're if you a fan of that kind of era, Bowie, I think you'll really get into this one. That's a big sell, Jess, big sell. I know. And lastly, album of the week, as we always do at themusic.com.au, we pick our favourites and give it the big tag of album of the week. And this week we've given it to Kylie Aldist with This Is What Happiness Looks Like. Jess, why is it album of the week? Well, Neil, I think this is actually what happiness sounds like on this album. Um, we just love Kylie. We can't get enough of her. And I think she's just absolutely nailed this one. It brings in so many different elements from kind of like cool 80s pop to like a bit of funk, disco, um, a lot of soul in it as well. And yeah, just a really great listener and certainly an uplifting one. If you head over to themusic.com.au, you'll see the big album of the week piece there. And Kylie has been kind enough to do a track by track of the whole album. So be sure to check that out. Uh, Jess, are you ready for the speed round now? Ready to go. So if you haven't seen this segment, what we'd like to do is name another three albums that we really, really love but can't carry on too much about, time pending. So first on that list, Jess, are you ready? Ready to go. Sophia, overdue. So this is the debut EP from this um, up-and-coming Melbourne rapper, and I think it's going to be um, quite a big one for her. Next, Mets with Atlas Vending. Um, Toronto punk band, we gave their album in 2016 four stars, so I think expect good things from them now. And lastly, Travis with 10 songs. So, Neil, you and I are quite the Travis fans uh, from, you know, back in 1999 when they had the, their huge album, The Man Who, which is still one of my favourite albums. Uh, 10 songs, it's going to be a really, uh, it's a really nice listen. Um, their song, A Ghost, is beautiful, and I think it'll be great for them. Jess, well done. Before we go, we do want to to plug the One More Thing segment. And this week, I get to shamelessly plug myself because on the latest Green Room podcast, I was joined by Australian legend and cold chisel frontman Jimmy Barnes. Uh, you would have seen the news this week, which the music broke, thank you very much, that cold chisel are basically done. Uh, Jimmy kind of just casually told me that he doesn't see cold chisel ever doing a, a major tour again and he would be surprised if they even released a record again. Um, as well as that, we spoke about his distaste for reality TV shows uh, and how his big 2017 collaboration with Kieran J. Callanan um, kind of made him a global mean superstar. So if you want to hear the whole episode, head over to thepodcast.com.au and uh, you can listen to the whole thing. Jess, have you listened to it yet? I know I've asked you about 15 to 25 times, but let's make it 26. Yeah. Neil, I'm just so blown away by this uh, Mark Singer news that it, I couldn't take any more in. That was the That's the headline for me right there. Good point. Ten points to Jessica. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode. You can check it out on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter and, of course, deliveredlive.com.au. We'll be back to do it all again next Friday. Jess, thank you so much. Thank you, Neil. Have a good week. We'll see you then.